Hello, this is Warlord, and today we're going to expand upon uh, UV mapping in Marvelous Designer, something I should have done in the previous tutorial, but it was already getting too long and it just escaped me actually because the texture that I was using looked like it tiled perfectly. Anyway, you'll see what I mean here pretty soon. What we're also going to do, since we've got a look at this, is I'm going to show you how to make a blanket or a pillow and drape it over a couch or something like that in case you need to use it for a prop. You can also do this draping them over hangers to make a closet full of clothes and things like that. So anyway, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is bring in our object. So I'm just going to come in and import an OBJ. And I've got the couch here that comes in the loft scene. We're just going to go ahead and open it and make sure it's on centimeters. Now, you can export this out through a 3D Exchange and save it as an OBJ. I then took it into Studio Max and took the other pillows and, and blanket off of it so we could use it. But anyway, this is all you have to do to get it in here to use as uh, something to drape it over. First thing I'm going to do is come out here and we're going to make a blanket. I'm just going to draw it out. And then once it's drawn out, we're going to go in and do some internal lines. I right clicked and what we're going to do here is offset as internal line. Uh, this is how many offsets you want. You can do as many as you want. What we're going to do is use these for sewing and I've got this set at 10.5 centimeters. We're just going to do one on the inside. You can do however many you want to do. That sets that up and so now we're going to right click on it. Symmetric pattern with sewing. Put it over here on the side. Then we'll come over here, flip horizontally to get our face right, and do some movement. Now, if you're struggling with a movement, like it's not moving straight, it's moving at an angle or something, I believe it's settings, user settings, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong place, it's preferences, gizmo local coordinates you may be on screen coordinates or world coordinates just check local coordinates and that way even if you're on an angle or not these things will still move straight straight forward straight back instead of moving at angles anyway what we're going to do now is sew this thing up now of course this is version 8 so we can sew in either window and i'm just going to use segment sewing and we can sew like from here to here which to me is easier in a lot of ways Want well, to make sure we watch our crosshatch, our, our little pattern down here that shows us how we're going to sew so that we don't cross it up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to sew these across because uh, there's no use y'all waiting until I get all these sewn. And as you can see, all I'm doing is making sure that I'm keeping this little crosshatch in the same place. Now we're ready to go ahead and do some simulating. And I'm going to go ahead and move this one just a little closer. And then how you position it here, of course, is a, has a lot to do with how it's going to uh, float down as you simulate it. So we're just going to go ahead and float it on down. And you can always pull it out a little if you need to. And remember, you can pull it over or if you needed to pull it over something, you could. But that gives you an idea on how to do the simulation. Now, in order to undo this, you would come up here to reset 3D arrangement, and they'd bring it up like that. Okay, now I'm gonna use something that we can see how it tiles. I'm gonna drag this over, put it in, and then hit OK. And as you can see, I had a plaid pattern on that looked like it had set right on my last tutorial and actually it was tiling like this so what we want to do is manipulate this to where it's just a single image or two or three or four or whatever you had in mind so it wouldn't be so busy you may have actually wanted a pattern like this but this is how it's going to come in so now we'll look at how we're going to manipulate it okay so we'll come in here to where we can edit texture and I'm going to click hold down shift click both textures and this little jewel over here you probably saw it 
it's the one as you can already see the light bulb I'm sure is already turning on over your head you can see how this is very easy to manipulate now I'm sure some of you figured this out on your own and I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this I'm just going to show you that we can do this way and of course up and down and then that other just rotates it and you would come here to do your actual movement back and forth and if you don't see what you're moving there that's because you need to click on it to put that cursor there or to put this little gizmo now that's not looking too bad except that we're not centered and we're a little narrow oh I have to go back anyway that gives you an idea there of how that works and so we come over here and simulate and you can see how if you use pressure make this a little smaller uh, that becomes a pillow and things like that it's not just a blanket or something like that you can also uh, come up here and use round cloth use two of them together to make a to make a round blanket or a round pillow I'm sorry and of course it all depends on how you set this oops I guess it would help to move both as to what kind of draping you're going to get so that pretty much covers that like I said you could shrink this down and it could become a square pillow and you could put uh, you can put even more layers of cloth over it that's something we'll go over in a future tutorial but down here you have pressure and that's how if you were going to use a, a pillow make a pillow combined with the right kind of fabric and by that I mean coming up here clicking on fabric and getting your proper preset like carry or something like that you combine all those to fluff this up and make it a pillow so you can have this as a large uh, blanket then you can change the settings on it, copy it, reduce it down, fluff it out, and you have a pillow. Anyway, I hope this helps.